And we did have a discussion this morning about uniforms. Our um, service manager was explaining that he used to work at a company and they didn't have ID badges. They didn't have uniforms. They didn't have rules pretty much. And he said he went to a woman's home and she literally would not let him in the door until she called the dispatcher and the dispatcher described exactly who Dave was. And then finally she let him in. Can you blame her though? I mean, that seems like a situation oh. where it's like, who's this rando here? It's and terrifying. So many blue collar service providers don't have that. I don't know. Authenticity. Um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but, but something along the lines of like, they're the real deal, mm -hmm. right? Like you go into your local, uh, your, your local Wally world, you know who the employee is because they're wearing something that's Wally world related, right? Now you want yeah. some rando to come in my house and they're not even wearing a name badge at the company. They're just wearing like, um, you know, as a, a, a picture of Zach Miller says on their shirt, like that's, that's it's unacceptable. Yeah. And Ryan um, always will refer, Ryan Kletz will always refer to UPS versus FedEx. And he will always say he loves UPS because they are just branded and they wear it so well. And I think businesses don't always consider how effective and powerful even something as simple as just a clean uniform that everyone is wearing, how that just strengthens your brand and your trust and making people feel safe and comfortable.